Welcome to another uh, flight video. We're gonna start exploring more of the Japan update. One city that was included was uh, Sendai. Um, I have not been there. I've I did a little research. Kind of was a little interested on it. Um, it's the second. I think this is the second largest city north of Tokyo, which makes sense um, because uh, one thing with Japan, just like a brief overview. You look at Tokyo. You look at Nagoya. And you look at Osaka. They're all like in these valleys. Uh, Tokyo being one of the larger valleys, and it's kind of more of a flat area, and not, not too mountainous. So, you know, being Japan being a very mountainous island or a series of islands, I should say, it, it makes it hard to build like you know a large city without being really interrupted by Mother Nature or really doing massive you know reforms to the land. Um, so as you go and you go look further north, you know it's a lot more narrow. It's very mountainous. Um, you know. So it's not not really a lot of room to put a major city. Um, you actually got Sapporo up here in this northern island, but you know, right, I wouldn't say in the middle, but you know, roughly I think about 90-ish miles north of Sendai. Uh, we're gonna go out of this uh, airport, uh, Matsushima Aero, to Sendai's. Uh, I think it's Air National. I don't know. I'm not too familiar what major airlines go there, but anyway. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna go over the center part of Sendai and go over a little bit. It says right now it's thunderstorming there. Curious to see what that is with the live weather conditions. So we're gonna leave that on for a little, either for the whole flight or for a little bit just to see it. If it's really blocking from seeing everything, then I'll turn it off. Uh, but anyway, so why, so why Sendai? Um, one, it is in the update. Like this is a major, was part of the update in terms of like cities they were showcasing. So I'm kind of curious to see how it looks. I did a flight here where I did like a ANA Airbus 325 from Tokyo Narita to Sendai. It was like 25 minutes, if that. It might have been 20 minutes. Or maybe that's the whole video. Like, the flight itself was like 20 minutes. Yeah, you know, just kind of mess around. To, you know, testing like a true flight path that ANA takes to Sendai International Airport. So, you know, again, not a big airport. I think it's mostly... You know, I, I'm going to take a quick look. There we go. I got my little, my little handy dandy phone here. All right. Okay. Yeah. A few international airlines. Um, very. Oh, obviously Asia. Nothing long. I don't see any uh, crossover ocean traffic. Asiana, Seoul, Eva. You know, so Taiwan, uh, China, Air China. So yeah. And then mostly it's, you know, of course, obviously uh, all Nippon Airways and Japan Airlines. Anyway, let's, let's start this flight, see how this looks. Oh, you hear that? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's see how this goes. All right. Using a plane I'm comfortable with. Let's see how it handles the wind and stuff in the storm. Oh, you see that? Oh, that was cool. It's like weird, it's like thundering and it's not. Like It's like it's like the uh the AI is not entirely sure what's going on. The AI and yeah, the weather. Anyway, we're gonna kinda hug this coast here. And uh Sendai is right around over here. Um Yeah, yeah. This looks fine now. It's like weird. It's like it's like a thunderstorm just over the airport. Huh. Kind of need to see how this is working. All right. Turn that down a bit. 
Yeah, it looks like there's some thunderstorm clouds over there. Yeah, this is like clear right here. Yeah, you can hear the thunder. That's pretty wild. Oh, uh, anyway, so I, I uh, so I mentioned earlier, sometimes in the update. Um, you know, another reason, so I was kind of curious, I've never been there, I'm kind of curious how it looks. I was looking it up a little bit, like a little bit of the city's history. Um, I was rebuilt after World War II. Um, it became, it's interesting, the economy is like more of a logistics kind of hub. Um, like they don't really have, it, it says they don't really have like many major, like, like corporations are headquartered there. But you know, the city, I think the city limits is over a million, but I would say I think the region's a couple-ish million people. You know, so it's not small, it's obviously not, you know, it's not Tokyo, you know, it's not like the major cities that you think of in Japan, but like, uh, I'm actually just double checking here, so oh yeah, Metro's about 1.6 million, so the city is about a million people, and then the metro area around it, you know, like, that isn't part of this, like, Sendai city limits of the prefecture is about 1.6 million people, you know, so eighth largest metro in Japan, so it's definitely not small by any means. But clearly off the radar, you compare it to its like bigger neighbors to the south. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so it's kind of you know obviously rebuild as I said, rebuild um, became kind of logistical hub. But there's some other stuff there, but nothing that really stood out in terms of at least the economy. Now what it stood out locally is considered kind of like a green city. Oh, I'm sorry, it's annoying. There you go. Alright, turn that off. It's kind of cool little islands here as we kind of go around this bay area. Uh, but anyway, so it's called a green city because it's known for having a lot of trees, even for like a, even for Japan, which is pretty astonishing because you go to Tokyo or Sakyoto, there's a lot of trees and stuff. It's very beautiful. So, we're kind of curious how that looks. Um, obviously, this was a you know, unfortunately, this area got hit really hard in the tsunami of 2011, the earthquake. Um, I know Fukushima is not far from here. I want to say it's down here. I think maybe up here. It's it's. I don't remember exactly. I know it's somewhere in this region though. But like an example, it got flooded pretty bad. Uh, due to the uh, the, you know, the tsunami, obviously got hit pretty hard around here. It's been rebuilt or been in the process of rebuilding. I'm assuming these were probably hit very hardest, and obviously probably around here. I don't know how far inland we're going. That's so cool. I like flying through a thunderstorm. All right, let's uh, let's get back down. I hate doing it like this. There we go. Yeah, so it's nice to see Sendai. I can tell you though, just from um, they done a really good job with the photo imagery, here, you know, with this update. Like it's very definitely looks a lot more detailed, very beautiful looking. You can just kind of tell, like, like there's a, like the details is like okay. I see zoom in, but it's like, look at that. Like, like, from here in this perspective, it's so detailed. And it looks like they're doing a better job capturing the architecture of the buildings, which I know that was a little missing in the past. And yeah, obviously, here it's all CG and stuff. But like, see, they're trying to get the arc of the roofs and so forth. Uh, I can tell there's a lot of trees. There's trees there, trees there. Now, for, there's not much to say about Sendai, I feel like. Oh, the air oh, that's a different airport. Yeah, but this is it. This is probably the Sendai region. I'll say a little nine hole golf course in the middle. But you kind of see to my point, um, you kind of see mountains or hills in the background, but this is a lot flatter. And again, like these cities really have to go in these valleys. And this is more the narrow part of the island as well. So it's, you know, it's a lot more limited. I know I've never seen images. I'm pretty sure Sendai is in these images of the 2011 tsunami. It was really sad to see a lot of these areas get flooded pretty badly and destroyed or severely damaged. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's kind of like some people who and die. Oh, wait. No, no, that's such an airport. It's kind of neat like this. It's like it's a really old farmland in the middle of the city here. Ooh, actually. So this might have just been... I wonder if this is actually was Sendai or another city or a suburb. And this is it. Like, look at this. Look at downtown over here. Let's fly over that. Then we'll head back. I think it's weird. I think it's like pop-up storms because it's just kind of like confused. Like it seems worse to the west. Over here, it's like seems fine, but you hear thunder and stuff. Oh yeah, that is it. So this is Sin this is Central Sendai. I apologize. I actually thought this part. Well, this actually ought to be part. Let me rephrase it. The map shows like a pretty broad region. It's kind of interesting how the prefectures work over there. You know, like Tokyo includes actually rural parts leading toward towards Mount Fuji. You know, it's part of Tokyo, but clearly when you go through there, you would not think of it because it's like, you know, countryside. Oh, is that, is that what it said? Baseball stadium? Yeah, it's like a little... It kind of looks like a baseball stadium, but you're going to see they put buildings in the middle. They look very awkward. <laughs> I was like, I was like, we capture stuff like that. It's just so funny. Ah, right, here we go. Let's uh, let's get a little lower. Just gotta keep that speed. All right. There we go. Well, so I remember someone has a little, like a logistical transportation hub. Well, there's a like a big train station here, and this actually looks more industrial, you know, freight train. This doesn't look like a commercial train station. Uh, Wait, looks. I mean, I could be absolutely wrong. Uh, I'm just kind of, but just kind of like looking at it. Because I would think, yeah, it seems like your central downtown Sendai. This is my little skyscrapers here. Yeah, that's kind of new. We got the big wide streets. It's a nice little downtown. Um, now you can tell this update. Um, let me zoom. Look around here. I'm not gonna do a pause. We're just kind of. Oh, you can tell the updates. Look at these buildings. Very good details. Uh, obviously not handcrafted. I can tell, but very accurately well done. And yeah. See, look at that. Look at that. There's a lot of trees running in the middle through this downtown area. Yeah, right through here. My gut says this might be a temple. 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 Right, look at that. It's got the elevation changes here. Little mountains. Very pretty. I, I'm telling you, Japan's one of the Oh, I know there's a castle. I wonder. Whoa, let's see here. Did they. That's interesting. Yeah, look at that. Broadcast tower. Oh, wow, we got really low. <laughs> Gotta be careful I don't crash of accident. Yeah, so here is where a lot of the details have come in handy. Very cool. The good news is Sendai Airport's only one runway. Yep. 
Okay, it is coming in. Perfect, we'll go back out and then circle in. Yeah, it looks like the airport's a little, I wouldn't say uh, ways out of the city, but you know, kind of south. You know, a, little, a, little, a little bit of a commute to downtown. Ah, here we go, there's some bridge issues. One of them. Yeah, kind of. This is what I love about this game. It really gives you a sense of the scope and size of a city. Like even a city about two million, you know, not massive by any means, but you know, pretty sprawled out. You know, it gives you a sense of like how big an area really is. Yeah, especially compared to like a smaller area. That might just be like you know, 40,000 people. It's kind of neat. It's like almost like a little farmland right in the middle of this. There's big open fields. I mean, you see this river going out into the ocean here. You sure unclear? Won't be a random plane, and I gotta keep flying around for 25 more minutes. Painfully annoying. Yeah, I'll just do it even I can see it. Sendai Tower Diamond Alpha Sierra X-ray yeah, Golf Sierra is unfamiliar with the area. Request directions to the airport. Diamond X-ray Golf Sierra Airport is two o'clock, four miles. as much of it. Yeah, I guess this is kind of like a nice little beach here. Look at that. Yeah, look at the little cars. Huh. I know, I mean, obviously being an island, I know there's beaches around Japan, but I actually don't know what's like the true kind of like touristy beaches. Well, these are my phrase in this, this part of the country. Obviously, if you're in like Okinawa or down there, which is very tropical, then I can say that being, you know, definitely more common. You know what? I think I'm just gonna try and fly this plane with the Pacific. Nah, that would go well. Let's lower this to 50. Yeah, 50 points good. Thankfully, there's only one one way, so you just have to figure out which number you need. Increasing a little fast, but I think we're okay. You can hear the thunder again, it's so cool. sun was popping through. I think we're gonna 
get it. I think we're gonna do it. I'm always afraid of coming up short because I've done it so I've done it quite a few times in this game. Perfect. Look at that. Gonna be right on top of this runway. Just like oh, I saw that. That's so cool. And it's like we're seeing lightning and stuff to the west. It's really cool. Imagine you land at an airport that handles like Airbus 320s and 737s. Yeah, a much bigger runway. All right, let's let's get. One two one decimal seven for Diamond X-ray Golf Sierra. Send Wonder if they redid this airport or not. Sounds good to me. Taxi to gate two using taxiway Bravo four Charlie four Charlie five Charlie six Diamond X ray Golf Sierra. Perfect. Oh, we're just turn the engine off and keep it cruising on 30 miles an hour. I don't think they redid this airport. Maybe? That was a little generic to me. I get all this thunder, but it's just partly cloudy here. Oh, not many gates a lot, huh? Hope you enjoy this little video, you know, we're flying around Sendai, just kind of checking out some of the new stuff. This air, this airport looks a little better than some of the other ones I've seen, but I still think it's generic. Alright, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and take care.